Hi, Chris Matson here. Purity. What is it and is it important? Um, to understand purity, one must first understand that we are pure awareness. There is one awareness. And the reality is that it's all there is, is activities, movements, electromagnetic dances within pure awareness. In the world of the 3D and the matrix, uh, we have been lied to and, and taught that as we look up to space here, that uh, that's what it is. It's this infinite space where you could take a rocket ship and just keep going and that stars and planets are trillions and trillions and trillions of light years away and all of this. <clears throat> that's not true. Uh, replace the word space with consciousness, within awareness. That's the reality of what is. Pure awareness. And even you know this in your experience, if you really think about it for a second. You are not your thoughts. You are observing your thoughts. You're not your body. You have a body. You're experiencing the instruments of the body temple navigating through this dimension at this time. You're not even your emotions and feelings. They're, again, things that are, it, it's like you're watching a movie and, uh, and there the, it all is. And we're so deeply connected with this movie that we often believe that it is what is. Uh, the truth is, is that all is pure awareness and the activities within it are what's happening. So on this plane, what has happened is we have created a, uh, a world upon the earth. The earth is straight from prime first cause. And the world is what man in their thoughts and awareness has created upon the earth. Purity is what prime first cause has as an idea of the expression of this dance of electromagnetic energies and, and manifestations, activities within the awareness. Purity is <clears throat> like this lake, uh, the water, if allowed to remain pure, is a, a perfect habitat. It's exactly designed to sustain the beautiful fish and uh, the flora and fauna. And, and it's, it's just a, a beautiful flow and, and, and a beautiful sight. And that's pure. Now in the world of man, we can have uh, out of alignment industries and coming and pumping toxic chemicals and waste and into this lake that would kill it. It would uh, destroy it. And so purity is the allowing the, the vision the, the greatest vision, the, the, the perfect unfoldment and manifestation of any given thing. Toxic is that which does not allow for that. Our body temples are made uh, for good organic plant-based diets, fresh clean water, beautiful juices and things like that. And as we have beautiful deep sleeps and are in perfect alignment, 
our body temples respond with vibrant health. Our thought life. Uh, we are in charge of our thoughts. So if we replace toxic thoughts, behaviors, patterns, emotions, and all these things with, with loves, visions, and pureness, then uh, we are restored into that, that cleansing. And it's so beautiful. So purity is really allowing for the perfect manifestation and unfoldment in our lives, in the activities within our awareness. And how I have come to live a life of nirvana, literally bliss, serenity, peace, vibrant health, abundance, joy, effortless life in spite of being in the world, is by forever knowing that no person, place, or thing is my circumstance. Love alone is the source. It's like an inner sun that's ever shining. And so I'm not dependent upon the world for, for my sustenance. I'm simply dependent upon the ever-remembering, knowing in this now moment, I am this pure love, I emit this pure love, I shine this pure love, I am this pure love. And whatever appearance of a conflict or a problem, being this love, I simply move in the solutions and allow allow people to have their experiences if they want to. Uh, so often, daily, I see people doing toxic behaviors in all manners, uh, attempting to reach the God state through relationships, uh, people smoking, you know, on and on, alcohol, uh, GMO foods, things like that. Uh, you know, but I can observe that. I don't have to participate. <coughs> it's very much like a, a radio. Uh, when you're between the dials, there's a lot of static. And any toxic aspects of our lives are, are like being off the dial. And so we return, we attune to the dial simply by attuning back to pure love. This pure love does not have an opposite. It is beyond dualism. It simply is. And in doing this, you return to the source of all the activities. Your pure awareness becomes heaven because heaven is simply where love flows. I invite you to purity, holiness, sacredness, and to shine like the sun from this moment on.